What's going on guys? This is 139. This is another video game. Oops. Another video game review. <laughs> this one's for uh the Xbox Series X, uh PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4 uh game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It's also on the PC as well. If you wanted to play it on there. Um just, so, uh, you know, here we go. Call of Duty. It's a follow-up review. I already did the multiplayer. This is for the campaign. Um, and also throwing a little zombies, uh, discussion as well in there. Um, but, yeah, the campaign, I just completed it tonight. Uh, pretty quick campaign. Uh, probably took me around seven hours, uh, seven and a half hours maybe to complete. Um, I actually think it was pretty decent. Um... You know, I kind of have a different outlook on Call of Duty campaigns nowadays. Uh, I remember back in the day, I, I, you know, not back in the day, but a few years ago, I, w I would think like, oh, this is so, you know, this is so uh, base, basic, like, um, what's the, there's a phrase I'm looking for. It's so shallow, maybe. Um, it's so uh, generic, been done a million times before. Um and you know it's kind of true right it's it's that that stuff is really true it is very um you know uh been done before it's very uh sh it, like i said all the things i just said i don't know why i'm repeating them um it's that stuff is true you know it, it doesn't really delve deep into anything usually it's kind of the same formula thrown in sometimes little hints at more in-depth stuff um but they never really go too far with it, I would say. Uh, but nowadays, I just I just kind of look at them as like little, you know, just stupid fun, uh, rather than grading them on a scale uh, with you know smarter games, more in depth, and um, more games with more meat on the bone, um, if you will. Uh, I kind of just enjoy them for what they are nowadays. Um, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And Cold War definitely sna uh, scratched the itch of the Call of Duty, you know, um, just crazy action movie, basically, is, is what these games are nowadays. Um, and, yeah, like I said, it's good. This story is, is as usual, at breakneck pace. Um, it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, the writing isn't the best, and even if it was, you wouldn't be able to tell what's going on because it's so fucking fast-paced, um, and things are just said out of the side of your mouth, out of the side of people's mouths, and you're supposed to, you know, know exactly what's going on, um, when in reality, it's just not possible to follow unless you're pausing every five, two seconds to download what the person just said. Um, now this one actually does, uh, give you time to, you know, download the story and, uh, create the world and the situation a little bit, uh, and the characters even, which I really did appreciate. It just, and I don't know that this is the fault of the game, but it does things like there's a, there's like a headquarters right now. And there, I think they did this in Black Ops 3, I believe they did the similar thing. Um, but in this you can find evidence throughout the levels, um, and then you can read the evidence and kind of learn a little bit more about some characters, learn a little bit more about some missions and the background behind the missions and the reason why these things are happening, which is really great. Um, it's just, it still throws so much at you. Um, these games are never, uh, you know self-contained stories they're just shit is happening and it's so much is happening and everything's at stake you know and it's it's like it kind of just you loses its luster a little bit um same thing happens in movies i find where you know oh the world's gonna end and it's like every single movie you watch the world's gonna end and it's like okay <laughs> and then you watch something a little smaller you know maybe like the thing is a, is a great movie in my opinion or uh what's another one um like predator even like i just watched that recently some just on the you know front of my mind but small alien is another good one like small smaller self-contained things um 
sometimes are better in my opinion but the, you know that's that's how these games go um, the story here just to cut it short because uh, I don't I can't give you details because I couldn't follow follow it enough to give you details is uh, some like elusive Russian guy um, somehow stole a bomb uh, or a, an atom or is a nuke I think it was a nuke and uh, it was an American nuke he stole the American nuke um, and he was able he would be able to remote detonate it in Europe and blame the United States then somehow missed how this happened but he he ended up he's able to activate like 20 nukes uh, across Europe and blow fucking Europe up and it would be blamed on the United States because this guy is so elusive and his operation is so underground that no one knows about it so um, you and your you know, you and your crew are uh, tasked with finding this guy and killing him, and finding all of his, you know, um, partners and his little, you know, connections and everything um, throughout the game and killing them. Uh, so that's pretty much the the whole thing. At the end, there's a twist that I don't fully understand. It reminded me of the original Black Ops game, and it also reminded me a little bit of Bioshock in a weird way. You're brainwashed you were apparently in the first level i think it was, it was yeah it was the first level of the game your character whose name is bell uh was in a car and then the like the leader manager whatever the fuck he's called not the main guy but one of the top bosses ends up just killing you or you you thought um at the end of the level and then you're playing as uh i think you're playing as adler in this either Adler, maybe Mason, or Woods. I don't remember who it was, but uh, you're playing as not the main character at this point. Um, they, and you, you know, play the whole level, and then at the end you save this last guy, but they don't show this to you until, like, the last fucking level in a flashback. So you're basically, you are a Russian that they brainwashed uh, and gave, like, this whole fake backstory about... Um, and you, somewhere, you know, deep in your brain, you have the secrets to where uh, this guy, this elusive Russian guy is. His name's like Provorov or something. I, I actually forgot his name already. Perseus, that's it. Um, so you have those memories, but they're like locked in your brain. Uh, so at one point they try to like unlock them um, at the very end of the game. Uh, so that's like a twist. And it kind of reminded me of Mason and, you know, how uh, the Russians brainwashed him and um, uh, Castro, I think, was involved in that. Uh, and then there was, like, a secret, just like in Bioshock, where he says, would you kindly, in this game, he says, we have a job to do. And that, like, I guess, puts you back on task or something. So they kind of took elements from the previous Black Ops game, which is fine. I mean, it's the same franchise. It's just a little bit repetitive. And then they blatantly ripped off uh, Bioshock and did it worse. Bioshock did it way better than this. but um, So yeah, the story, it's not the best in my opinion. It's not awful. Uh, the characters are, for a Call of Duty game, pretty decent, I would say. I mean, Woods is there. I fucking love Woods. Everybody loves Woods. Who the hell doesn't love Frank Woods? Um, Mason's there. You play as him in like a couple levels, but Mason's there, uh, kind of like a background character mostly. Um, he's, fu you know, he's Mason, he's fine. Uh, who else? Who else? Adler's a new character who I actually like. I actually thought he was a pretty good character. Um, he's like the main boss now. And then there's Hudson comes back, and Hudson's a total dick the whole time, but I still like him. Um, and then there's a few other characters that are pretty pretty forgettable but i don't know what it is about them like the one guy's named sims like you don't really you can talk to them and kind of learn a little bit about them but not really it's mostly like woods and mason that you care about maybe adler but the characters like i said for a call of duty game you got to put that in perspective aren't as bad as like the the in my opinion the modern warfare series are like fucking terrible and um I know everybody loves ghosts and price, but I mean price is cool. But I don't know. Uh, I'll have to see the new Modern Warfare Two if he uh, 
you know, really wins me over. I thought he was cool in the other games, but not not like Woods. I think Woods is way cooler. But anyway, um, the characters are I'd say good for a Call of Duty game um, is the key there, um, and the levels are fun. You know, just like like I was saying, it, you just think about it like it's a dumb action you know action movie that you're playing, and it's fun. It's a fun game. Um, they do, like I said, they do little things here, like uh, slight RPG elements in the beginning, where you can make your own. You know, like you you can name your character, but they call you Bell anyway, and you can kind of um, give your guy perks basically by giving him personality traits. Like he's uh, one of them's like. Um, He's, I don't know, here's an example. He's focused, so he can aim, like, you don't flinch as much when you get shot, or he's paranoid, so he reloads faster, he aims quicker. Like, little things like that. It's, 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 you're changing your dossier, and uh, by doing that, giving yourself personality traits, it gives you perks, which is kind of, like, cool little, like, dip into an RPG element. Um, so, technically, I guess your playthrough will be different, you know. Um, also, you have some... Uh, voice options i mean your character isn't voiced but you can you know have con sort of have conversations they're, they're really just very they're not like impactful conversations at all but you can talk with your teammates um and a f very few times in, within the story they'll ask you questions and you can respond or whatever um and there is multiple endings i i don't know if the, I, I know there's two i don't know if there's more than two i've seen the the bad and the good, I actually think the, well, I don't want to say that, but the good ending sucked. That's what I got. It was fucking, it sucked. And the bad ending is literally, you can, like, fucking kill all the, like, you can kill Woods if you want, and, and all the, and Mason and everybody if you want. Um, so, obviously, I didn't want to kill Woods, so I didn't pick the bad ending, but I picked the good ending, and Adler just tries to kill you, but you pull, it's like a quick draw thing, and they don't tell you. Like, I was, like, mashing, you know, right trigger to try to shoot him first. Uh, but it doesn't tell you. You just hear a gunfire. You're not sure if it was yours or his or both or whatever. So I don't know if they're trying to set it up for another game. I guess they are. But um, not satisfying, in my opinion, that ending. Uh, but anyway, the characters are decent. The levels are fun. Um, they're not the most memorable, I would say. They're not very, there's not very, very many memorable ones. I would say the most memorable level, or the one that's sticking out to me right now, is uh, where you're you're playing as, I, who are you playing? Oh, you're playing as Bell. You're playing as the main character, and you're with Woods this time around, which you know makes it memorable already. Um, and you end up in like a Russian. Uh, it's like a training thing, basically. It's like there's a, you're in an arcade at first, and then you look out the window, and it's like a big, it's like a small town American, you know, town basically, a replica, and they have like fiery fight, you know, drills and stuff, and they're training, I guess, you know, new soldiers and shit, and you bust into that shit with woods, and you're fighting in a, it's one of the maps in, in the actual, you know, multiplayer too, but I thought that was a pretty cool scenario, like all these trainee Russian you know soldiers are like now suddenly in a firefight with these two maniacs um i thought that was a pretty good level but other than that they're good they're fun but they're not like the most memorable levels like i have memorable ones like the train level from uh call of duty uh world war Two, all gillied up um the fucking prison escape from the original black ops like there's definitely better more le memorable levels but i'd say these levels are pretty decent except the last level was short and anticlimactic I, I, that's kind of sucked it out sucked out the the impact for me a little bit on the story but um at least on the good version of the ending um so yeah c characters are a little bit better than than normal um levels are good solid levels um you know the gameplay is the same gameplay uh it's fun you know randomly they'll throw in like yo you can drop out some air support or shoot you know have this have this uh, napalm strike set it up or whatever. They put you in scenarios. Woods is sniping for you, like crazy fun stuff. There's some, um, there's a little bit of like stealth in this, which I thought was cool. Mix it up a little bit with that, a uh, little stealth, um, where you're playing as like this Russian mole basically, 
uh, and you have to like cut the cameras and um, try to find uh, this key card and reprogram it so you can get into you can get Woods or no you can get Adler and Bell into the Russian facility so they can steal some shit or whatever like you know it's fun you you you're you're a mole, so you can walk around, but then you're trying to get into restricted areas, and uh, you have to, like, sneak, and then you have to knock people out and hide them in, you know, closets and shit. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, I like that. Again, it changed up gameplay. Uh, you know, it's fine. Um, there's one, one little thing that just came to my head, and it doesn't. it's not really flowing with what I'm talking about right now, but... Uh, Throughout the game, there's these little arcade machines. I have to blow my nose. I'll be right back. I have a cold right now. What is these? Uh, there's these little arcade machines throughout the map, uh, throughout the, you know, campaign with, like, old school, I guess they're all Activision old games. Um, and that it was kind of fun just to, you know, the little little cool stuff like that. I, like Dead Ops Arcade, it kind of had a similar vibe to that where it's like, you know, this is just for fun. It's not really serious, throwing it in there. But, you know, you're running through the level and you come across a... A little arcade game and you can play it for a while if you want like it's like literally a full game basically in in the game you have to be in the level to play it but it's like you know a full game and there's like 30 of them so i thought that was pretty cool um what else oh there's a couple there's side missions right but there's only two there's two side missions in the whole it's like what the fuck is the point of this um that evidence you collect you know uh it um It'll give you information on these side missions, um, and then you can complete them correctly, but I don't know what would have happened if you did it wrong. Like, I, I didn't even collect all the information. Um, for one, it's like you have to pick out three, there's eight, you know, there's eight suspects, and you have to uh, target three of them by uh, finding this, you know, evidence and, and deciding who, who the suspects are. Or who the moles are, basically. Uh, it was kind of cool, but also, like I said, it was... It was, like, kind of bare. You know, it's just two of them. I don't know. I, I thought it was cool. It's, it's a, it's, in the end, it's cool. But, like, overall, again, it just shows you, like, what I said in the beginning of the video, or Call of Duty. They take little things, and then they just, like, do the most bare minimum with it. Like, the the creating your own character like okay yeah you can call you can name them you can give them two perks and that's like it okay sort of yeah okay rpg elements scraping scraping the surface and then oh there's side missions but there's only two of them scraping the surface okay you know what i mean like that's what it's it's just like and i know this is what call of duty's done forever and do i want a 20 hour call of duty campaign probably not i think this is enough but it's just something that I like that I have to mention because they just are so shallow with the stuff they add. Um, at least this time, I remember when Gears of War Five came out. Uh, they're like, "Ooh, it's R and maybe it was just the articles I was reading online, but like it's RPG elements and open world." I'm like, after I played it, I'm like, "Bro, this is not like I guess it's RPG elements, but this is like weak shit." Um, anyways. Yeah, so it does a few things different. At the end, it does this, like, really big mind fuck level where it's like you're playing Layers of Fear. Like, you turn around and there's something there and then you turn back and look back again and it's gone. It's like some weird shit. It's like you're on drugs. That's when they're fucking with uh, Bell's mind. So, it is kind of interesting, although you have to redo the same level three fucking times because it's like, wait, we fucked up. Go back and look at his, you know, try this story again. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> three times. Um, so... Yeah, I think overall, I was high on it, honestly. I was at, like, 8, uh, which is pretty high for uh, Call of Duty. Um, but I, I think the ending, 
I didn't like the ending. And, I, like, honestly, doing the same level three times and then the ending kind of sucked really brought it down for me. So I think I'm going to be a... I'm going to end it like a... The campaign for Call of Duty, I'll put it at, like, a 6.5. Um, still has its moments, right? It's it's just it's average in my opinion. It's not even it's it's better than average, but it's just like yeah, it's forgettable. It's not it, it's it's not the best. It's not the worst, but it doesn't. It's not average either. It's better than average. It's just not you know. It's not really impactful. I guess is what you could say. Woods was the best part of it, and he wasn't even the main focus. Not even close. Um, but yeah, you know it's. And the zomb- I'll just throw something else in there with the zombies. Um, I am not a big fan of the uh, the zombies after, like, Black Ops 2. I just like, honestly, and people think it's boring, but I like the fucking four people in there just try to survive. Like, that's that, I like that. I, I don't need all the extra shit. I don't need, you know, all the um, Easter eggs, and I don't need all the story mode or whatever, like... I just don't need that shit. Just give me a map, put doors there, and put guns around it, and a mystery box and perks. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. I really don't. And if you want to do a story mode or whatever, that's fine. I don't care. But just do... It doesn't even... You don't have to make a new map. I mean, I hope you would make it so it would be a little bit more accessible for the for this. But just call it survival and just make it the old way. And then make the story version or whatever. Because even if you like the story version of the map, okay, you do it once. And then what? You're going to do it every time you want to play zombies? Like, that's stupid. Just make it, make, I'll do the story mode too. I'll play it once. But I don't want to play, I don't want to have to worry about, oh, get this gun. And then, oh, you got to run over here while this thing's going, you know, it, like, it's just fucking annoying. Just, I don't care about that. Just give me guns, give me a fucking box, and then... Let me play the game. I don't care about all the other shit. I remember playing zombies when you know in like three sixty days, even solo. I would just play like you. I remember actually I played Black Ops Two zombies all the time. I would just come home from whatever work or or like I worked at a bar at the time or maybe school was, and I would just like decompress and just play zombies. Like just kind of like stare at the screen, just play it. And then I would also have at night me and my boys would get on. We would be a squad of four, and we would just fucking kick ass. And we would always try to beat our highest, you know, level, um, whatever it was, like, 30s we used to get into a lot. Um, so, I mean, I get it, right? Like, it's cool, it's a story they're expanding on, and I, like, that's cool and everything, but have that, but also just give me, like, a simpler map, please. I don't, I don't need all the extra shit. Um, so yeah, I don't, I mean, I didn't play zombies enough to give it a rating, and that's kind of a generic thought about call of duty zombies now anyway but i don't know i guess i give it like a five i don't so yeah the campaign 6.5 the uh zombies five i guess but don't really look at me for the zombies rating for this and then i think i i forget what i gave the multiplayer but it's probably like a seven or a six and a half so um overall call of duty cold war i mean it scratched that itch for me you know it's call of duty it just doesn't really stand out it doesn't do anything that's you know it's not it's not incredibly polished the guns don't sound amazing like they do in modern warfare it didn't introduce the gunsmith like modern warfare did it carried it on but modern warfare introduced that which is the best system in my opinion i fucking love the gunsmith i don't particularly love the guns as much as i did in the uh, modern warfare game I think Modern Warfare's campaign is better. Um, yeah, so I would say, I mean, at this point, Modern Warfare 2 is taking the world by storm, but I don't know. I haven't played Vanguard either, but I, I, I would, I'm just comparing it to Modern Warfare because that's the most modern Call of Duty I played before this one. I would take Modern Warfare over uh, Cold War. And I, I was a Black Ops guy too, I just want to mention that. I didn't like Modern Warfare... Uh, two or three that much i kind of got on the train after modern warfare 2 was big but i didn't really like modern warfare 3 that much at all um i really liked black ops 1 and 2 and 3 um so i was like a black ops guy uh but modern warfare is way better than cold war i would say so how and like i said in my i don't know i made a one of my previous videos, I was like, all right, now I'm also going to do a how much is this worth score? Like, 
how much should I how how low should I wait for this price to get uh, before I buy this game? I'd say this game's worth probably like if there's still multiplayer matches on right now, and there is, you can get games in a second. That's not a problem. Um, I don't know. I I probably pay like thirty bucks, thirty five, maybe thirty five. If you're trying to play online, I would pay thirty five. If you're just trying to play the campaign, I'd pay maybe like fifteen. It's not really worth, uh, in my opinion, it's not worth, um, you know, buying it for the campaign for over fifteen bucks. And the zombies, I mean, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, overall, I I I guess I say overall, I would give uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Probably like a, probably like a six point five out of ten, and you know, it's not it's it's better than average. It's a solid game. It's just not really memorable, and it's not as good as it's just not as good as previous Call of Duty games, and it's not memorable. It doesn't do anything to make me be like, oh, I will I, like I bet in five years when I'm thinking about like if I'm thinking about Call of Duty games, I don't think this one's gonna ever really surface. You know, it's just gonna be like yeah yeah. Oh yeah, Cold War, right. That one was alright. That's what it's gonna be. So, anyway, thank you for watching.